Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Just wanted to do a quick uh, video on disassembling and assembling the uh, Kimber Mako here, the R7 Mako. Um, it's a little bit different. The disassembly is not as it's not hard. It's similar to a Glock or a Taurus. Uh, the G2C is similar to that. Uh, a few other guns I can't I'm off the top of my head. Uh, a little bit different with my Canic and my 365 XL. So just gonna go here and just before we get going, it is unloaded, no magazine is in it. So, and again, this is for educational purposes. Uh, just to mention before we get going here, notice in, some, in a Facebook group that the disassembly notch takedown tab, some people have had difficulty grabbing it and being able to pull down the takedown tabs when disassembling the gun. I have not had any issue with it. Uh, the notch is pretty uh, well done. The tabs are definitely good. There's some some uh, texture to it, if you can see. Let me bring it up. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I haven't had any issues, but again, I have average hands. Maybe if you have larger hands, or so that it might be more difficult to, to grab. So let's get going here. Basically, we're gonna slide, pull the slide back just about a quarter inch to a half inch. Pull down the tabs, let go. And then you're gonna pull the, the trigger and everything will slide off. Then from here, okay, you got your recoil assembly and then your barrel. And like I said, this is not about cleaning it or anything. It's more about uh, disassembling and reassembling. I did find the reassembling is a little bit of a learning curve. It's a little bit different compared to my Canik, you know, and even the Taurus, even though you pull the trigger to disengage and disassemble everything, putting the slide back on was pretty much just lined it up with in the rails and then you just slide it in. This one here, you gotta make sure a few things are lining up more and then just making sure the recoil assembly as we go through this. So again, you're gonna put the barrel back in, make sure your cam is up, take your recoil assembly, make sure it's in there, make sure it's all lined up, okay? And then we're gonna take, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky is getting everything to line up. You want to make sure the cam is lined up and so it'll fall. It's, see, I'm trying to get you guys, that it falls into there and then everything else, the notch, it lines into the notches. So it's kind of at a slight angle I found that you kind of have to put everything. See everything, you got the front. You can see that, I hope you can, but there's a slight angle and then you just drop it in it, you press it down pull it back and you are good to go. So it is a little bit different. Like I said, you gotta have it at a slight angle. It's not a straight slide Slide in. You gotta get everything lined up. Like I said, the, the cam lug to line up into that notch, having to get the recoil assembly, you kinda have to have it at a slight angle. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you do like this, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my uh, content, please uh, subscribe. All right, guys. Have a good one.